Ta-da! Well, howdy do, y'all. I've got one I picked up. Last weekend while we were in Columbia, uh, I meant to do a... <laughs> well, I did do... Actually, I did do a video for it the night that I got it. Uh, but it was one of those long nights. <laughs> uh, I thought I needed to do it fresh, let's just say. So anyway, not the beer, me. <laughs> so here we go. If something happened to the video, I don't know, man. Anyways, uh, Snapper IPA Logboat Brewing Company out of Columbia, Missouri. I'm going to read a, uh, a little, little description off of their can here. 7.2%, I believe that says. 66 IBUs. It's easy drinking IPA. is loaded up with four varieties of American-grown hops. Fruity flavors of pear and peach play off of resinous piney notes. Belgian crystal malts complements the bitterness for a well-balanced IPA. Their description on their website is slightly different. I'm not going to recite that one to you as well, but uh, I found that it's usually the can or the bottle that has the correct you know, the correct numbers or the correct explanation because sometimes they don't update those websites. So let me show you. It's very pretty, poured with a nice head that's now dissipated because I took too long. <laughs> but you'll see it in the pictures if you watch the video. Uh, let's see, a pear, peach, resinous pine. I certainly get a lot of pine. I'm not sure if that's pear. There's something there, but I'm not sure if I'm getting quite pear on the nose. I am, I am detecting some peach, some stone fruit notes. Sure. Oh yeah, it's, it's nice. Um, it's, it's a little different. Um, the mouthfeel, the, the mouthfeel, mouthfeel, the mouthfeel feels a little thick. It does feel very malty. I certainly am getting some peach, though, peach and pear on the malt notes. Well, you know, I'm in, in that is what I meant, but, um, uh, and some pear is, not peach, pear. And some pine as well. I'm having problems making. This is the first beer. Mm. Wow. Uh, yeah, I had some great beers. We went to the Columbia Beer Fest uh, on Saturday the 18th. That was a lot of fun. So I picked up some. They only had two varieties in cans. They had this one, uh, the Snapper IPA. And their Mammut is an English mild style, so I'm going to do that one later. But it's kind of in the mood for an IPA. This one is, it's its nice. It says Belgian malt. Um, it does have this sort of kind of Belgian ale feel to it. Especially on the malt body and profile. Before I, I'd read that, uh, I, I, when I drank one the other day, I was going off the description of their website, and it felt different than what they were describing on the website. So if I would if I would have read the can, it would have made a hell of a lot more sense to me. <laughs> so if you look at their website and then go back and listen to what I said about the description, you'll know what I'm talking about. Mm. You ever have one of those beers that you weren't sure of the very first sip? You didn't dislike it, you know, but you just weren't sure. And then by the time you get about halfway through, you're going, oh, okay, now I get it. It's like that book you're reading. Maybe you don't you know the first few pages or the first few chapters, you know. It's not quite grabbing your attention. All of a sudden you go, oh, now I understand where they're going with that. Well, that's kind of how I feel about this beer. I wasn't quite getting it at first when I had it the very first time. And now that I'm on beer five of six of this first one today, but of the six pack, they go, oh, now it makes sense. Now I'm going to get it. So I'm a little slow sometimes, but there you go. Yeah, I would recommend it. I don't know if they're ever going to get out of that area, uh, but if you get a chance and are passing through Columbia, Missouri, give me a call. I'll try to meet you there. But yeah, uh, I certainly recommend trying any Logboat products, but if you're an IPA guy, certainly give it a shot at least once. <laughs> 